Hello guys and girls, it's another one of our daily advent calendar live casts where you can win yeah. extraordinary hardware, software, services, services, microphones, yep. speakers, the best stuff. And today and plugins. One plugin. And uh, when somebody hears one plugin, he will ask, hmm. It's only one plugin, really? You, only one plug. Usually, <laughs> uh, we talk about plugins in mega bundles. Pay nine bucks and get three thousand plugins. <laughs> three thousand plugins. But um, this one is one of the uh, plugins that I would uh, include in the Lonely Island question, the plugins you n really need for the rest of your life. Mark, what the are five your five plugins you have to have on a Lonely Island? Huh? This is definitely included. Yeah. It's a multi band. It's a multi band compressor that um, is commonly used for mastering. But since I have so much CPU power, I am using it on a lot of okay. single tracks. Okay. Uh, including vocals, yeah. kicks, on groups, and it's a really amazing plugin from Leapwing. It's called Leapwing Dyn One. As far as I know, it came out about probably two, two and a half years ago. Mm -hmm. And um, I've always been a fan of um, parallel compression, and this is a parallel multi-band compressor i mean we all know yep. a lot of multi-band compressors they can be really useful if you do a quick song demo and your mix sucks mm. and you just want to get it loud it happens it, it happens your kick is much too loud and you you slap on this multi-band and it kind of balances yeah. everything out but it doesn't really make it make it awesome but this one is completely diff different i mean <clears throat> if if you have heard of the mastering engineer Bob Katz, um, he's sort of one of the biggest gurus. He wrote an extraordinary book called Mastering Audio, mm -hmm. and um, which I own for a long time. And um, he's using and recommending the plugin, which says a lot because uh, he's one of the mastering engineers who's very careful with uh, treating the audio and messing with it. So um, they Leapwing really managed um, to, I would say, to define the mastering compressor in a new way because mm -hmm. this thing, uh, usually with the multiband compressors, I have I always feel that it's messing with the audio because yep. it needs to split it up in different bands and. Uh, just the fact that it's splitting up the audio makes me feel some side effects. This is something I'm not feeling here. In addition to that, the default crossover frequencies and how the crossovers work are so carefully chosen and programmed because it's a plugin or the hardware. Um, I have to say, you can use this on everything, but then to combine this technique with uh, being able to use this in parallel mm. mode is a genius thing. Um, and I think we have to do a little demo. Yeah. This is... Uh, I, I, I'm just going to yeah. um, say that uh, I think it's a lot more intuitive to use than a lot of the multiband compressors. Absolutely. Because it can, uh, can be a little intimidating. There's lots going on and lots of... And you can really numbers flying around. You can really destroy your audio, which is yeah. not the case with this one. And uh, I will show you exactly what I mean. We're uh, let me set up a screencast. Goodness. Yeah, we're we're gonna go through some of uh, my own songs just to plug my own stuff a little bit. Also, we got some merch. What's up? Um, so this these are some of the tracks that I've made uh, with an artist that I work with a lot, a great singer songwriter. And uh, I think Mark will guide you through some of them. Um, I had to take the Dyn 1 off of two of those tracks because they were on my uh, mastering chain. And now we're putting it back on and you can show yeah, the people are, what it's doing. These are unmastered tracks. Yeah. Uh, let me just, because we've just done a session with this. Let me just go through my massive plugin list, bring it up. 
Dein won three in the two two and a half years they brought this out. They're already in version three. Mm -hmm. I got all these updates for free. So when you buy it and when you win it, you will uh, get free updates, which is great. Uh, they're always improving it. Um, yeah, I mean, th the sound was great from from the beginning. They uh, improved a little bit on the interface. It's fairly easy to operate. So in default, um, all the five bands are chained. And let me just play the track. And in the display, you see how much compress compression uh, is applied to each band. So I will have to globally bring the threshold down to just smash everything into the threshold. And um, let me unhook those connections so I can show you what each band is doing. You can see there's a little fader uh, in within each of these bands and everything is at infinity at the moment. So we're not doing anything yet. And now let me show you what each band is doing. There's low, low mids, mids, high mids and high frequencies. And let me start with the mids because you can hear it on every speaker. Just add some sparkle to the mids. Affects the snare. Check the low end. Yeah. Yeah, I like it like that. You can really add a lot of bass yeah. because what you're adding with the fader is heavily compressed, so mm. you're not adding any any peaks. You just bring up the overall. You feel more bass, definitely. Yeah. So it it, it doesn't make it sound like muddy or spongy or yep. anything like that. It's really just just a little uh, also more in the end. It also doesn't really add a lot of level. I mean, when you look at the meters, I mean, it, fe it feels like you, you're adding a lot of bass. Yeah. This is too extreme, obviously, but I'd definitely do something like this. Let's mm. do before, after. Before, after. Let's see if we can uh, add some sparkle in the high mids. Let's just go to extremes here. Do the same thing on another track. Okay. Let me just bring it up. Uh, factory presets. I have my lead vocal here already. Interesting. Um, okay, sorry. Let me just bring it up again so I can show you the default setting. Mm. Start from zero. Where everything is chained. Threshold yeah. down. We're just adding everything. Bring them all back. Ooh. Yeah. Wanna wake up tomorrow wrapped up with you. If kisses were snowflakes, I got a blizzard for you. I mean, you can hear that it's doing something and it's not destroying the audio. Mids. High mids. Treble. Okay, I love this last track. Thank you. I love them all, but this mm, one in particular. Sure, sure. Okay. Uh. 
again everything grouped. Let's pump it a little more and bring up all faders. Just make it louder, add some sparkle, add some bass, add some everything. Before, after. And I need to back off a little bit on the level. Again, before, after. So you can use it for a quick. Works. Make everything better with one button. Yeah. <laughs> or <laughs> you can go really into detail if, if yeah, you want it. As I said, I'm, and you have seen it in my, I have a vocal preset already. Mm. There, I'm using it on vocals. I'm using it on kicks. It, there's no, you can use it everywhere. And on a drum group, see what it does yeah, to that. Absolutely. I, don't know. <laughs> I mean, don't overdo it, but... I've, I mean, I've, you can use it everywhere. I've used it as a first plugin on mm -hmm. the vocal chain just to get a basic tonal balance. Uh, when you're missing some frequencies from yep. the get, you can really make it sparkle from the beginning, then put the de on it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just, as I said, it's one of my five Lonely Island yeah. plugins. And it's really intuitive. Like you, you saw it. There's it's faders, so you quick. dial it in. There you go, you got a sound. Done. Leap got Wing. A vibe. Leap Wing Dine One. Yep. I'm surprised. I'm uh, when people ask me, hey, what plugin should I buy? It's Black Friday, like three weeks ago or, that, or two weeks ago. Everybody like two weeks, yeah. was asking me this question and I said, look at this. Buy that one. one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And buy that one. All right. And uh, you're telling people how to win this and the most important question um if you want to get this i mean you do but if you want to win this right here right now what you're going to have to do is make a video we want to make that very clear we had some messages that just said hey i'd like to win this yes you would but you have to make a video with it just like this just grab your phone doesn't have to be anything fancy hey i'm mark mozart uh, this is my studio and uh, I want to... Oh, I already have it. Oh, okay. But if you don't, <laughs> that'd be a great way to start. Also, if you're not a native English speaker, don't worry about it. Just do the best you can. That's not what it's about. Do it in Spanish. Do it in Spanish. I'll we'll, ask my buddy. <laughs> we'll figure it out. <laughs> but uh, just let us know in your own way. Be creative. Why you want this. Why you need it. What you would use it for. Uh, then post that video to a video platform, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, whatever you want to do, and make sure that it's public so we can all see it um, because we have to make a decision after that. And then what you have to do is take the link of that video from whatever platform and post it right underneath this live stream or video once it's a video post. I mean, for us, the mo I think the most important thing is we want to feel that the person who's winning this will really use it yep. and appreciate it. Not just resell it or yeah. something. <laughs> like, we, we really want to avoid that. Yeah. So, if if you don't, if you already know you're not going to use it, I don't know who wouldn't, but if you think you're not going to use it, maybe let somebody else have a go at it. That's all yep. we're saying. Um, if you think that you could really use it, Go ahead, please let us know. Spanish, Do it right now. Do Russi it. Russian, Do Italian. It. Do it. German, whatever. Well, we got a German channel too. Yep. So anything else is welcome. <laughs> All right. And I have a nice music. Nice goodbye music. We're gonna, See you tomorrow. We're gonna do a fade out. Funky fade out. Okay. Fade out? Yeah, fade out. Okay, I'll do okay. the fade out. Fade out. Do a quick fade out. Okay, we're going to see you tomorrow. All right, goodbye, everybody. Fade out. Thanks for playing along. It's a long fade out.